7 Current Car Trends Will Mock In 10 Years Before we get started, we have good news! Car throttle competitions are backed by popular demand and we're running an incredible winter giveaway. Up for grabs this week is an Xbox One and a copy of Forza 6. All you need to do to enter is subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, then you're already entered. We're giving away some awesome prizes over the next few weeks, so stay tuned. This week's winner will be announced in next week's video. Now, let's do this! Fashions come and go and technology quickly goes out of date, so it'll be interesting to see exactly what our future selves will look back on and laugh at. Puddle Illumination Puddle illumination can be useful. A lamp inserted beneath the wing mirror shines a light on the ground so that as you walk near the car you don't step into anything you wouldn't want to. For some reason, manufacturers of premium cars seem to take this opportunity to plaster their logo across the floor. I'm sure our future selves will have found new ways to show when douchebags, just so long as it's not like this. Drift Charms This all started up in the mountains of Japan with drifters attaching toys to their rear bumpers. As they got sideways, the gravitational forces would make it look as if the toys were levitating, which was a cool way of drivers to show off how much speed and angle they could carry through corners. A cool concept, but unfortunately it became a symbol of JDM culture and has made its way onto any old front-wheel drive scene car that wants to be a bit more Japanese. We already look at these and roll our eyes, so this is definitely on the list of things we'll deride in 10 years. Electric Car Anxieties Electric cars are becoming more and more popular, but they won't go totally mainstream until ranges increase and recharging times come down. You can already go more than 200 miles on one charge in a Tesla and recharge most of the battery in about half an hour, but until that technology reaches inexpensive city cars, it's a luxury most of us can't afford. Stretch Tires Anything that doesn't enhance the performance of your car runs the risk of being a fad that will eventually die out. Stretch tires probably won't do any harm in normal driving conditions, but if you're driving hard, it can start to get a little bit dangerous. The only reason anyone really stretches tires is for style, and as fashions change, even the car guys who are doing this to their tires today will look back and cringe. Night Vision An infrared camera feeds a screen either in the center console or between the dials, which requires you not to be looking through the windscreen. Since the advantage of night vision is that it lets you see dangers further in advance than with headlights alone, to really see the benefit you have to be going pretty fast, at which point you probably don't want to be looking anywhere other than forward. Night vision has great potential, but at the moment it's a bit pointless and is merely an option designed to sound cool on spec sheets. Attention Seeking Raps in certain circles, it's more important to have an attention-seeking car than a car that you actually like the look of. Thanks to the rise of YouTube celebrities and Instagram fame, wrapping cars in ludicrous colors just so that people film you has become the norm. The novelty of all this will wear off pretty quickly, so hopefully supercars in stupid colors or sh boxes that scream, look at me, will die out ASAP. Actually driving. Fully autonomous cars are some way off, but with the rapid advancement of self-driving technology allowing the likes of Tesla and Mercedes to offer autopilot functions the more mundane aspects of driving are being taken away from the driver. It won't be long before the notion of driving yourself through frustrating traffic is a welcome thing of the past. Now you can follow your favorite YouTubers, publishers, and citizens on Car Throttle. Just sign in with Facebook and join the fastest growing car community online. Click the I in the top right corner and get started. This, oh, I tell you what, what the Tesla is really good for is, uh, is looking for female companions. So you know when you're driving around and you want to have a little look, if you see a blonde head or so, you're like, mm, I wonder if she's quite cute. In this car, you can have a glance and you can look around and you can give her a wave. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant.